Welcome to the GP50 YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss the basics of how to calibrate or verify a pressure transmitter. You'll need an adjustable pressure source with a pressure standard. In this example, we use a deadweight tester, a power supply, and meter to read the transmitter's output. We are also using a 4 to 20 milliamp loop powered device, but this procedure can be used for voltage or millivolt units. A general rule of thumb is to use a pressure standard that is four times more accurate than the unit under test. First, the pressure transmitter is plumbed in line to the pressure source and standard. Using a deadweight tester, the unit under test would be plumbed into the output pressure line as shown. The transmitter is then electrically powered and attached to a reading device. Here. We show a loop-powered 4 to 20 milliamp device in line with the power supply and digital multimeter. Next, power up the system and wait typically 10 minutes for the electronics to warm up and the system to settle. Calibration for standard GP50 transmitters is typically performed at room temperature or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. For this example, we are using a 0 to 500 PSI device. If it's a gauge format, remove all pressure from the system to obtain a zero PSIG pressure. If it's absolute or vacuum format, an absolute zero pressure must be obtained or a full vacuum to the required zero level. If just a two-point calibration or verification is required, a zero reading is first obtained. Once zero pressure is reached and it's had time to settle, Verification of the zero reading can be determined. In this example, that would be 4 milliamps. There will be a factory tolerance on the zero reading called the zero balance. This can be obtained from the product data sheet or directly from the factory. If a zero adjust is available on the transmitter, the zero may be adjusted to within an acceptable limit now. If no zero adjust is available, Verification of the zero reading is recorded and pass-fail criteria determines whether the unit needs to be sent back for recalibration or is within the acceptable limits of the unit being used. Again, in this example, that would be 4 milliamps plus or minus the factory zero balance tolerance. Once the zero reading is recorded, pressure is then applied to the full-scale range of the transmitter. Once full pressure is reached, verification of the full-scale reading can be determined. In this example, that would be 20 milliamps at 500 PSI. There will be a factory tolerance on this full-scale reading and can be obtained from the product data sheet or the factory direct. If span adjustments are available on the transmitter, the span may be adjusted to within an acceptable limit. If no span adjust is available, Verification of the full-scale reading is recorded, and pass-fail criteria determines whether the unit needs to be sent back for recalibration or is within the acceptable limits of the unit's span tolerance specifications. You have now completed a two-point verification or calibration of a pressure transmitter. A multi-point run can also be performed by taking readings at incremental pressures and recording the equivalent output. A linear plot can then be drawn to determine the linearity of the device under test. If you have any questions, visit our website at www.gp50.com or call us at 716-773-9300 or toll free at 877-774-4751 or email our sales department at sales at gp50.com. Thanks for tuning in to the GP50 YouTube channel. If you like this video and would like to see more, please subscribe to our channel.